All right, so uh, do you have a favorite scene from the film? Um, I guess my favorite scene, there they, I like the opening scene on the airport and then uh, with Richard Kind, Clifford's dad, whenever he starts screaming and Clifford does that little, you know, making the face about how he's going to have a stroke. I think that's a funny scene. I think the scene that I was mentioning where, you know, uh, Uncle Martin is just telling Clifford, you know, act like a human boy for just five minutes. And Clifford starts making all these weird faces. And he's like, you can't do it. You can't do it. So I think, I think a lot of the Uncle Martin and Clifford scenes are good. And I think they worked well off each other. And I think they were pretty funny. Um, so I guess a few of those type, type of scenes. What about yourself? Yeah, I don't think, I, if I had to put one scene up for like my favorite, I would probably say, oh, I don't know, maybe the, the probably that first scene with um, him in the airplane. That's a good one. I think it's fun. I love the way that he, he really owns the scene and you know exactly who, what it's going to be about. I like, um, Stefan makes an appearance. The, it's kind of, yeah, he's just Stephen so annoying. Crash, actually, well, not Crash, but he blames it on Stefan for wanting yeah, to be exactly. the pilots. So it's <laughs> curiosity that brings the plane down. I, and I love that he, you know, they even set it up because he's like nestled in the flight attendant's chest as the plane is like kind of going down. So they're even kind of setting it up that even like, even he's matured in many ways, like, so I'm like, it was a good scene. There was one scene during the film that I thought was pretty good, but now it's not coming to mind. Um, but it was, I want to say it was at the dinner party that they go to. But I can't remember what it was. Why would you even take him to that dinner party? No. One scene, you, we were talking about the air, air, uh, airplane really quick. Clifford walks, he's walking by and hit people in the back of the head. Then he stops at this one person and then hit them extra hard <laughs> walked off. Isn't it an old guy? Yeah. An old yeah. man? Yeah, it's an old man. So that always stood out to me as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, last one. Um, what's your final thoughts on the movie? You know, I would... Did you give it an award? Did you come up with an award? I, I didn't even think of about it. I didn't either. I would have said maybe like man child award, like yeah. annoying man child award or something. I almost thought of the little little Nikki award because um, uh, you know, um, but I didn't really you know I I was trying to tie it into the little Nikki you know Adam Sandler movie. Yeah. You know, uh, Clifford's kind of like the devil's son because he's so mean, but that was all <laughs> that I really came up with. But I really did. Uh, I enjoy it enough to watch it every few years and I've recommended it to several people, but it did have a little bit of a cult following just from my uh, Facebook post the other day about it because six or seven people said that they liked it and they had heard of it and they watch it whenever they can. So um, I think it's got a cult following because it's weird enough just to, I can see why it didn't succeed theatrically. A movie like that would never even really get made theatrically today. Mm -hmm. just because it's odd but you know it really is the audience supposed to dis dis dispend belief and act like martin short as a kid or that are they supposed to see him as you know so i would recommend it i find it fun kind of weird but i enjoyed it enough to watch it so i would give it a chance if you've not seen it i would say with films like cable guy the like I don't think anybody else could have played the cable guy except for Jim Carrey. Right. And I don't think anybody else could play Clifford besides Martin Short, just because he's got the look for it. He can act like it. Uh, I just think one of my favorite parts is every time they show like a shot from the back of him walking, you can tell yeah. it's not him. It's like some kid. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I don't think you could do it again with anybody else because I just don't think it would work because the quirkiness and ridiculousness of Martin Short was perfect for that film. Um, I like it a lot. I think it's a great movie. I probably, it's a once a year 
for me, maybe okay. once every two years. I haven't seen it, like I said, in forever. But now that it's in my stream of consciousness, when was I the last probably, time you watched it? Oh my gosh, 15 years. Wow, I watched it probably about a year ago, about a yeah. year ago. I forgot it even existed. So, okay. Okay. well, I didn't forget that it existed, but I just like, I, we had it on VHS. So I just didn't have access to it. That's cool that you had it on VHS. Oh, though. yeah. Oh. That's very cool. That and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. We got Dirty we, Rotten Scoundrels because we bought a pizza at Pizza Hut and they were giving out free VHS for like a certain pizza deal. Yeah. <laughs> we got Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, which to this day is still one of my favorite movies. Well, I would say to this day, that's one of the, the when you suggested that movie, I made the little little ad, the little promotional. That's one of my favorite promotionals that that we that I've made. Dirty, dirty. Oh, the dirty red. Oh, that's yeah. such a. Did you see the one that I made today? Yeah, what's that one from? I love you, man. Uh, Have you seen? Yeah, it? I, yeah, I, I've I've seen it. It's been a while. I've only yeah. seen it one time, but yeah, yeah. 